He was a referee for like roller hockey, like pro roller hockey. Games. I feel like you told me about that. Yeah. You... Like we... you were into hockey before the hockey became a trend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like I like they used to have our kids there too, and I used to play it all the time. I, I like I basically go the entire day off a quarter, bro. <laughs> I mean off a, a dollar. <laughs> One dollar would last me the entire day. Oh man, that's boomers had a very nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, anyways, let's get into it. I, uh, Nico on Byleth. Uh, I did have a conversation about it. I think Byleth is high tier. Um, I kind of agree with him a little bit. Um, not to be remain, but I'm telling you one thing about Nico. He made Shulk work in a game where Shulk could just not work. <laughs> and he made Marth work when Marth, before Marth got fluffed. So if anybody can definitely put in work with a character like Byleth, I'm not surprised to see it with Nico at all. Yeah, I feel, well, to be fair, in Brawl, Marth was like high tier. Oh yeah, Marth, no, Marth was like super top tier when I think in Brawl. Show how double fair, man? Are you kidding me? You can fair people off the stage. Bro, you weren't. Wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna, you weren't top Smash tier 4, unless you're a Meta Knight. In Smash 4, though, the beginning of Smash 4, Marth was not a top tier. He was like. That man ate a sandwich, he was too heavy to move, but after that, he got Then he got buffed as hell. Yeah, but Nico was one of the best Marths before the, before the buff. We wanted to make Shulk, and we all know where the story goes from there. So if I'm going to use Byleth, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised at how much of a reason we to put him here. But Tyrant's definitely making sure you know, man. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta move away from that bio, because I thought you pretty much in depth for second with Lucina. This is a character I think is uh, top three. Lucina? I Lucina. agree with you. I agree with you. And it's definitely top three. It is a grody character. She has weight, like, for as basic as she you is. You know what's sad? Is that Lucina feels more like a top tier than Mark. Oh, uh, definitely. Man, you got a little bit greedy there. Yeah. Die for it. That's kind of one of those things that when you have to when you face Violet, you kind of have to edge guard her a little bit differently because of the way her expression works. Yeah. Um, but you also have to be careful because if you do, uh, if you're trying to be Violet and you're trying to be special to smack your opponent, you, kind of, you have to make sure you're kind of facing away from the stage. If not, the actual tether will just go for the ledge every single time in the back. I wonder. I, I think you can press down though. Yeah, but it will still go for the ledge, yeah. like no matter what. So yeah. you still need to face away from the ledge. All right. Oh. Nasty spikes. Down tilt in there here. Down yep. tilt has way too many options to like combo into. That is actually oh, a problem. Oh, really good double jump too, and he kind of deleted from the back air. Oh, space, space back air here. Sorry, he deleted from the down tilt down air. Yeah. But like, I feel like the issue of Violet is like speed he, and disadvantage. I would say. Like, I feel like she's a, a spacing character in the wrong game. Like, uh, with the in a game where everyone is super fast and can get in for free. Yeah, and she's look, in the wrong look, game. Looking at Joker, Fox, Wolf, yeah. you know some of the more meta picks, Pikachu, to an extent, right? Like even even um, even Peach is faster than Byleth. Like you have a lot of things to learn. Uh, Don't confirm. Yeah, you're, you're right. The meta does not uh, does not really favor Byleth, as opposed to like it would be something like Brawl or Smash Four. Uh, like yeah, I feel like Byleth is a Smash Four character. Yeah. Like she's a Smash 4 character. I feel like the only thing that it can do to buff Byleth is like him by frames and second frames. I think that's the only thing that you can do to buff the character. Bro, if you want to. the character to... speed, but like the frames of the move will be fine. Oh my gosh. Spot dodge up B. Disgusting move is Lucina. Yeah. Now, I think in Ultimate, I think it's not. I don't know if it's frame 1 or frame 2. Um, it's frame, it's frame, five. Five, frame 5 on the ground. But in the air, it's frame 2 or 1. Yeah, it's, the, it's kind of the best out of shell option. Yeah. What we talked about earlier. Well, besides Game & Watch. The Game & Watch is up here. Having a, having a, yeah, having a fling three out of shield, man, just destroys your opponent for making the wrong mistake. Oh, unless, you're space, unless you're spacing. Ooh. Dang, what a back throw. It, that's going to be such a weird thing to deal with. Like, I'm a big issue about fighting against Lucina. That character sometimes just does not have an disadvantage to me. Yeah. And her ability to just come back to advantage is really, really good too, because any of her just do a lot Oh, that, that was a really good jump for downer. And the way that we saw Nico do it earlier too is he double jumped, delayed it. Yeah. So he's really good. The one thing I feel like Nico's really good from is coming out of ledge. Simply because he's so used to doing it with Shulk, with Shulk back air, yeah. Shulk nair, Shulk whatever he wants to do. Like Nico is really good when he comes out of the ledge. Yeah. That's one of his biggest strengths. I feel like this character lo like does suit him because like how. Abusive this character is on the ledge, actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Th those hitboxes kind of last forever. <laughs> so, like, oh, he jumped. Good thing my up smash will stay there for five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Nico says, you know what? I got the W with Byleth. That's my one and done here. I'm going to go back to Shulk and just clean up the rest of the house. Yeah, that was a, that was a little too close for comfort.
Oh my oh, gosh. That, that could have been death. That, yeah, that was death. Been, yeah. But that was like, that's a hell of a, a hell of a prayer. Yeah. Oh, no jump, he's dead. I mean, that's the one thing I feel like, knowing Nico personally, and as a player, Nico smells when someone will fall to something like that. He, yeah. Like he, I've, I've had a conversation with him, and he just knows when an opponent will fall for it and when an opponent won't go for it. Yeah. So like he's very very aware. He's if that wasn't a work or not. And honestly, he was just fucking hit off. Mm. But oh, sliding sports. I got the jump, but Tyrings couldn't get the couldn't get the punish. Actually, yeah. good stuff on Nico for recovering a lot earlier than what he was usually supposed to do. Yeah. Oh, that upset would have killed too, especially in that part. Oh, that no punish. Upset. Oh no, no thunder cat. No thunder zombie. Very risky option for him going for that uh, the smash card. Oh, but now this is a completely fine time. You're at zero. You, you can do whatever the hell you feel like, bro. <laughs> you do take more knockbacks when you're smash. Right? Yeah. Or also, jump art, but the multiplier is higher on smash than it is on jump art. Yeah, you're like one of the lightest characters in the game in smash art. Yeah. You become... For those of you guys wondering, your arts only change your base property, not your frame data. Yeah. So for an example, Shulk does more damage. Oh, oh there's the no more breaker. shield. Death? That should be death. It could be death. Oh. Uh. Uh. So for an example, with jump art, you become a floaty. Oh, wow. That got him? Mm. Because the, the way that Shulk sticks out is her box after the second swing of the special. Uh -huh. That'll definitely catch him. He sticks out just, just enough. Ooh, I, that was really hard. I, that, that Switching the jump art and then immediately jumping, it's, it's so fast. Like, you just hit the air way too, like, you, you, you're, like, in their face immediately. Yeah, yeah. 